Right, this is a quick illustration of how to press seaweeds so you could end up with some nicer samples that look like this. Okay, we've got our seaweed here. Um, ideally it should be uh, in uh, seawater, which you brought back with your specimen. Um, as it happens, I haven't got any at the moment, so this is fresh water, so we're just going to get it sorted out quite quickly. Um, I've got it in a glass dish on top of some white paper, so it's quite nice and convenient if you want to make a quick photograph of it while it's in, in situ like this. You might get a better picture of it than you might have done at the beach. Okay. Um, now we need some paper. This is slightly thicker paper than you know your normal um, 80 GSM stuff that you get in photocopiers and printers. It's just they've got a bit more rigidity, um, so you know a, a light cartridge paper or something. Um, it's a really good idea to write on it uh, before you put it in the water with a pencil so it doesn't run. And ideally you can write on it um, what it is, if you know it, um, and ideally the place you found it, and a date. And maybe your reference number if you want to uh, relate it to um, your notebook um, if you took any notes. Okay, so now that you know what it is and you can match it up with your field notes, you can stick this in here and you need to get the whole paper wet like that. That'll do. Then you can lay your seaweed on the, on the paper. You then just need to tilt it so that there's nothing no water at this end, so we've got you know quite a shallow um, tray here, and now you can just sort of move it up a bit and gently with fingers or tweezers if you've got them, try and lay out the seaweed so that it best displays its main features, and you can sort of see the shape of the fronds and everything like that. You may need to chop some bits off um, if it's a particularly big and chunky specimen, just simply to get it to display better. Okay, once you're happy with it you then just sort of gradually gradually bring it up like this out of the water so as it comes up it's largely in the same place that you left it when you arranged it. And you can get the worst of the water off like that. That's nice and convenient. There you go. And now what we need Some newspaper, some kitchen roll, and then you can just add some more newspaper on top and stick it under a load of heavy books and press it. It's a good idea to um, maybe change the newspaper and the um, kitchen roll after a day, or at least just to check that um, it's soaked up enough water, it just then you can then dry it off a bit. Um, and that's it, it should be ready and dry in a few days, and nice and flat, and then you can put it in your uh, collection. Nice and simple. Here we go. And we can have a little look at some previously prepared examples. Great.